Yo, what is going on, you guys? Bowling Games 03 checking in back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And in this one, we got Football Outsiders Week 1. So let's hop right into it. Okay, guys, starting off with the least overall, and we will work our way up. But right here, you see Jason Verrett going for around 5K. And I've obviously. Football Outsiders literally just came out, so he's going to be a definitely a nice budget back that, in fact, I might even pick him up because, you know, 5K for 82 overall, that is definitely worth it. But right here you see, let's check out his stats, 94 speed and 96 acceleration. That's really nice, especially put him in the slot, you know, 93 agility. He's really fast with a 91 man cub and then obviously an 83 zone coverage. His play, play, play rec and press you know aren't that great but if you put him in the slot you should not have a problem with that press let's go ahead and see if there are hidden any hidden stats i believe he does have a nice jumping that's what i heard 75 catching that's pretty nice for a cornerback at least tackling is not looking too great there you go a 92 jump obviously he's not that too tall 5'9 only but yeah once again really nice speedy cornerback and yeah, once again, I recommend him if you're trying to put, play a budget team, put him in the slot and see how he does. Yeah. All right, the next card, I really like DJ Swearinger. I like how he plays, you know, he plays with an edge. But right here you see the cheapest, which just sold, is 6K. So let's go ahead and take a look at this card right here. You know, I do play that strong safety, so if he's nice, you know, I might go ahead and have to pick him up. Right here you see, obviously, 93 hit power. You know, he's one of those rough safeties. Hard hitting safeties out there, 86 speed, 88 acceleration, 88 pursuit, and that 93 hit power. That's pretty much the main attribute that you are looking at when you try to get this card. He does give a plus six to run stuff. Run stuff. So let's see if there are any hidden stats. Once again, you know I really like this feature, and we're looking once again a 92 jumping. So yeah, they're pr being pretty generous with these jumping stats. But once again, I believe they are pretty high for most players, and obviously nothing else that is hidden obviously 93 hit power we already saw that 83 press which is really nice for a safety but yeah once again a nice card all right jr sweezy only going for 5k man these cards are going for cheap in fact i might as well see how much my best okay i have alex boone because i know my o-line isn't all that so i was about to pick him up if my right guard wasn't that great but right here you see nice nice stats 92 run block with a 92 imp 90 impact block excuse me so some nice stats right there you know pancakes down the field plus five the long pla long pass and once again we aren't really too worried about hitting stats for o linemen i mean we could care less about that but once again a solid overall card all right guys now let's go ahead and check out no sean moreno things are starting to heat up 85 overall the second best card in this release. So let's go ahead and flip over these stats. And solid overall stats. Solid overall stats. Everything is looking nice. You know, he's he's a do-it-everything back. You know, he can catch. He can run. He can block. He's really nice. I mean, there's not one stat that jumps out. But, you know, he's just solid at everything. And I really recommend him. I mean, he's going for 8K. Can't get any better than that. 79 catching. That's pretty good for a halfback. 92 carrying so i don't expect them to fumble as much and yeah trucking is really looking nice so if you like he's a mixture of a speed slash you know power back some really nice stuff right here pass block footwork was also pretty good i believe that was like a 75 let's go ahead and check yeah 75 that's that's pretty good and now finally antonio brown the speedster the best card in this game's release of week one football outsiders let's go ahead and check he's only available for 24 hours so if you want to pick him up you got to open packs right now speaking of packs right after this we're going to do a little mini pack opening but yeah mini but right here you see 93 speed look how fast this guy is with a 95 elusiveness just put him in the slot and just watch him put in work i'm telling you route running is 93 94 catching traffic 88 release, but I'm not too worried about that because he's just so fast. And especially if you put him in the slot, you usually don't get pressed over there. But yeah, some nice catching stats, of course. He is a plus nine to short pass. All right, 
So let's go ahead and see if there are any good hidden stats. 86 awareness, 70 carrying, but, you know, he's a receiver. Kick return, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. He can play the wide receiver and the kick returner. I forgot about how dangerous he is in kick returns. Juke move, 95. Yeah, definitely got to put him in kick returner. Oh, my gosh. This car is just too nice. Obviously, we're not too worried about that. 86 spectacular catch. I don't know if I saw that on the back. And once again, really nice stats. But yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. So once again, those were some really nice cards for week one. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up some packs real quick. I'm about to show you these game changer packs. No, I'm not buying one. But yeah, right here, they're only available for 24 hours. But in my opinion, it's definitely a ripoff. Especially, don't buy the bundle. Don't spend 100 bucks on these. They're, I don't think they're going to be worth it. Just go with the Pro Packs if you guys want to spend money. Maybe if you want to open two of these, knock yourself out. But I really don't recommend opening this bundle toppler. And if you're trying to open it for Antonio Brown, Week 1 Football Outsider, the chances of you opening that is very low. Yeah, if any of you did open this, let me know how you guys did in your bundle or in just your two packs, one pack, whatever it may be. Let me know how the chances or the odds of pulling an elite for you were. You know, I had people tell me that they opened up a whole bundle, only got three elites, in my opinion, not worth it. But right here you see I did have my three promo packs, so let's go ahead and open these. You know, last time I did, I pulled an elite, somehow, I pulled an elite. I pulled an 89 overall John Sullivan. Go ahead and check that video, that was my last video and I was pretty psyched about that. I was really blessed, but right here, first car we get a Louis Delmas. Oh wow. You know what? I thought he was a strong safety. I think he changed positions. Yeah. I did play with his elite card for a while. I really loved it. And some really nice stats right here. He's looking really nice. 82 overall. It's a high gold, so I'll definitely take it. Jordan Matthews on the Eagles. Fellow Eagles. I will definitely take him. Let's go ahead and flip his stats over. I really like this. He's definitely gonna be a nice prospect, you know, in upcoming years to go. He has a nice body. Not like that, but you know what I mean. He's tall, he's he's agile, he's strong. Definitely some a lot of potential for this guy. But yeah, right here you see nothing in this pack except for Louis Delmas. Let's go on to the next pack. Marcus Lattimore. Andrew Tiller, right guard. I've never seen that car. He's riding a bike for some reason. That's really okay. Now we get a Jay Gruden. Redskins. Man, I feel bad for the Redskins, but right here, we do get a Sanford. Strong safety, another secondary player. We're not looking for that, so let's go ahead and just clear out this pack. Anything nice? Any silvers that are nice? Nope. All right. We did get Matt Barkley, so we're showing some Eagles love right here in this um, pack opening. Oh, Cowboy Stadium. You know, a lot of the stadiums are going for a lot right now, so if you have any of those stadiums that are going for a lot, 2K, 3K, I've even seen some up for 10k, so go ahead, put them on the auction block, guys, if you want to make some coins. Obviously, they do go into those badges collections, which are pretty nice. And right here, we get a DeAndre Le Levy, Levi, whatever. So, yeah, not any luck in these packs, but yeah, that pretty much seals the deal, wraps it up. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, guys. I'm out. See ya.